Are you ready? Slide Gittins here with another security tip. Hope y'all are doing absolutely wonderful. I want to say thank you. Thank you for tuning in. If you listen to this right now, I do really do appreciate you. Um, this training is going to be about securing AWS with one-time passcodes, right? Um, OTP for short. Um, if you haven't taken a look at my other videos, take a look at my AWS protecting it with push authentication and take out my other video protecting AWS, protecting that with biometric authentication. Um, so today I really wanted to focus on one-time passcodes just because um, I think this is another form that you can leverage, right? If you don't want a physical token, you don't want to use uh, a software token where you got to decrypt keys, you want to use something that's pretty easy that's on your cell phone, like a traditional app you can download, um, leverage um, you know, the RSA one-time um, passcode or OTP for sure, right? Um, but I also want to take a step back and showcase two. I'll give you two for one in this video. Let's also protect the single sign on portal. Why? Because in this use case, we're going to be focused on protecting our mission critical applications. And these users that have access to the single sign on, only a portion of my organization do. Um, for those traveling employees and my senior sales rep, the executives, they have single sign on, and we're doing it as a, um, you know, a demo in our environment. So again, this is just kind of a use case I created just now. Is um, you know, we we're deploying this in segments, right? And only the mission critical. Um, people are using it who got access to Mr. Critical applications. So in this case, 50 cents is logging in. And now not only do we need access in there with his username and password, we're going to need access into his environment. And let me get in his correct password right now. So as it's looking right now, it's looking for additional um, authentication required to sign in. So what I did, I created a assurance pile. I mean, assurance um, for this one to have the authenticate app. So it's right now it's contacting my cell phone and you're going to see it shortly saying, Hey, Sylvester, you need to do a push notification to get in here. So let's go do that right now. My notifications. And then, all right, Sylvester, sign into your web portal. Again, this is to give another layer of security for that front door. And now what we did is for 50 cent, he has his um, his power season five um, hidden inside his um, AWS. You got to save there so you can have quick access to it. And we want to add another layer of security on there. And we wanted to do it with this uh, a token code because they used to that because they used to have hardware tokens. But now you know, don't want to carry it, don't have keys, want to just use the application on his phone. So if we gave him access to one time passcode right now. So let's log into AWS. So the Secure ID Access Console right now is talking to the cloud authentication. Um, and now my phone is and my phone is now telling me, hey, you gotta put this token code in. I have a few different environments in there because I do a few different demos. So we're looking at the first one right now. Let's make sure I can type it in the right way. Nine, eight, four, eight. Show token code. And let's authenticate in there. I can remember this browser. And what this does is for the next time, I wouldn't have to do that because I remember this browser is going to let me in and then I'd be all right. So it says successful authentication. And now this is going to grant me access into my Amazon Azure. Um, environment right so again this was pretty easy um and i wanted to talk a little bit more about it because i feel like um the reason why i'm building out my um my videos like this having aws being protected by biometrics so fingerprint um push notification then push notification for the single sign-on portal and then showing case in um, the, the, the token authenticate code and then I'm going to eventually do the iris scan for another video just to showcase the different ways you can configure this to customize and like how great you can customize the security security access and how easy it is to use it and it doesn't affect the user interface so we're going to have some more videos coming shortly um, where I'm going into that and then I want to segment into protecting the 40 gate and going over it and then Dropbox um, Salesforce and then we're gonna start talking about some general 
I'm information again. This video was protecting secure ID access with one time passcodes. If you would like to see more, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, comment. Um, I can't say enough to comment, share, let me know what you like, what to let me know what you want to see in the future. And again, thanks for your time. And I look forward to speaking with you and talking with you and helping solve some of your customer problems. And this demo was powered by the Ingram Micro Solution Center. Just want to give them a shout out because I do work there and, and they helped me, um, they let me use the data center to deploy this demo for you so you can showcase it today. Anyway, have a lovely day. And if you listen to this at night, have a lovely night and uh, look forward to talk to you later.